Hello. Today on DIY with Chris. This week we're going to be working on another holiday project or holiday decoration. So we saw floating around some pictures and what we're going to be doing is making some trees for your yard, just yard decorations out of pallets. So we're going to be taking apart these pallets and what we're going to be doing is making something like this we have on the board back here. So uh, it's going to have a bunch of pieces cut out. We're going to try and use 45 degree angles or whatnot. So we'll take off, we'll strip apart these pallets, take off these individual strips and then sand them down and make them appropriate. And then we're going to cut off the angles on them, uh, cut them at different lengths. I believe we're going to start this one off at five inches and then add two inches of length for each one of the cuts. So if we start off at five inches, this last one will be 17 inches on the lower aspect the, at the biggest point. And so we will uh, put all those together and then we're also going to be doing tongue and groove uh, in order to connect those and then run a post down the back of it. And then that's what will either put it or that's what we can use as either a yard stake or just something to secure it to another item just to make sure that we can have it out there. Another thing that you can do on this project is drill holes in your tree and your different uh, planks and you can run lighting through it or you can decorate other ways, paint it up, put some other decorations on it, sparkles or some ice crystals or something and just make it the way that you want it to match your own. The first step for our project right now is going to be to disassemble the pallet. We started disassembling pallets using just a hammer and a crowbar and the product that you get from that is not going to be as good as the way that we're currently doing it. Uh, what happens is it'll start to, the pressure you put on there will start to actually crack and break your, your members or your uh, wood supports and so that's not going to give us as good of an end product. So what we ended up doing is uh, we have a reciprocating saw here and we got a metal blade for it. And so uh, what we'll do is come uh, through all of these planks and we're going to cut the nails out. And after we cut the nails, it'll remove the plank all in one piece, uh, sturdy condition. And then I can go back through and actually punch out the nails from the other end using a, a punch. And so that's going to give me a nice, uh, uninjured or unfractured uh, wood plank that I can use for my picket fence or various other projects. So this is going to be the easiest and quickest way we found when I was also doing it with the uh, hammer and crowbar. It was taking a few hours to get just as many as I did off, which was probably only about 10 planks total uh, versus this is just going to be just a couple seconds. So that's what we're going to do at this point is just go ahead and start cutting out the nails. of holly fa la 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 tis the season to be jolly fa la 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 don we know our gay apparel fa la 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 troll the ancient yuletide carol fa la 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 The next step is going to be to sand down our planks. So we've already taken these off of the frame, we've removed the nails out of them, any other hazardous materials on it. So we just want to sand it down and make it uh, ideal for presentation and make sure that if you are going to paint over it or uh, seal it, then we want to sand over it, kind of open up those pores and give us a clean wood to, to put that on. For this, we're going to be starting out with a 40 grit sandpaper, we'll then move up to an 80 grit and finish it off with a 120 grit sandpaper and that's what we're going to do 
for all these pieces to make sure that we uh, smooth it out just real nice and then open those pores. see our tree we've cut all the pieces and so it is just laying out here we do have it connected with the tongue and groove system all we have left is to connect them we're going to be putting some wood glue in the tongue and groove system and then we're also going to put a post down the middle of it and that's what's going to also drive it into the ground and make sure that it is uh, secure and connect it all together make it a little bit stronger so that's the rest of what we have to do to assemble the project and we'll show you when it's done we just finished cutting all the pieces, so now we're going to start putting it together. We're going to start the assembly by gluing the tongue and groove system together. As you can see here, we have a tongue system up top, and then there is a groove on the bottom, and that's going to be the same for every piece. So in order to make sure they're lined up perfectly, uh, I've actually made a mark on the top pieces, and it's going to start two inches in from the right-hand side, and I just did the right-hand side on every single one of them. And that's going to be the mark that should line up with the top right portion of the lower piece. And that's going to keep it centered all the way up. So that's what we're going to work on now. I also have some of this sawdust that is sitting here on the table. So we can, if we need to, mix that in. Uh, either fill some holes or just make that bond a little bit stronger. We're going to start this part off with just the uh, regular wood glue at this time and we'll work on reinforcing it after that. Choose for me, dear Santa Claus. On the first day of Christmas, my 
my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third now that we have that glue in place, we're going to clamp it and let it dry. We're going to repeat this process for the whole tree. After all the glue is dried, then we're going to be putting our back stake in. And we'll use some finished nails on that back stake to connect it. We'll paint over that and we'll be good to go. The next step for our tree is just going to be to paint it. We're going to do our base coat here and then we can paint other decorations or drill holes for lights afterwards. golden rings Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a laying, five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven swans a singing. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself.